Hi guys, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be sort of a recap. So a few weeks ago, I posted a video which was a big for me, Sephora VIB haul, and I wanted to follow you guys up on what I'm thinking of the products now that I've been using them for a while. Like, yeah, first impressions are great, but you've got to use stuff for a hot minute before you realize if you really like it. Know what I'm saying? Forgive me if my voice is a little off. We had a party at my house last night. We have a tiki party every summer, and that was yesterday, and it was 95 degrees, feels like 101 all day, and uh, we overdid it. Regrets. So let's start with my repeat purchases to let you guys know if I still like them. The first thing was a set of beauty blenders. It was the Pretty in Pink set, and it was $45 for three beauty blenders, and I mean, you can probably tell by how disgusting this one is that I still love them. They're the same quality as any other beauty blender, but you are saving a bunch of money with this set. So if you are a beauty blender fan, I would recommend it. I personally have not found another brand of beauty sponge that I like as much as the beauty blender brand sponge. That's a lot of bees. I love this. This was a great deal for me. Mwah, it's golden. Beautiful. My next repeat purchase with the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleanser, love this still. Now this is great for quick, quick brush cleaning. The brushes will dry super fast and it gets rid of all the junk in there. And yeah, I also do have like a new kind of color switch. It's definitely an imitation one that was like three bucks off of Amazon. I'm bougie. But this stuff is beautiful. It is so good for those quick, quick cleanups. And yes, you still do need to shampoo your brushes once in a while. Look at me telling you to shampoo your brushes when I haven't done my own damn brushes in so long. I am so dirty. Do as I say, not as I do. So yes, would recommend. I did think when I bought this that it was like the mega size and it turned out to be this little baby. So I mean, I'm gonna go through this way quicker than I should. I also got the Stila Glitter and Glow in Gold Goddess. This has been my favorite one. I went through a whole tube of this and this is my second one and I've already used it like three or four times. This has been my favorite Stila Glitter and Glow. I have noticed with some other ones, like for example, right now I'm wearing Smoldering Satin. Love the way it looks, but there is definite fallout. I will get it all over my face and I have to sit there with a piece of damn scotch tape like pissed off stabbing at my face. This stays exactly where you put it. It is fantastic and the color is just this beautiful, beautiful gold, golden, golden, gold. It's gold, all right? You get the point, it's gold. We like gold. I love gold. The very last repeat purchase was my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. You guys know if you've been on my channel for approximately mm, 20 to 30 seconds that I'm obsessed with this stuff and I still am. The first tube lasted me longer than it should have. I think I used it for a full year before I finally forced myself to throw it away. I was like, it's not dry yet. It doesn't have to go into the trash, my precious. It went into the trash, got a new tube. It's just as ace recommend, highly recommend. Then there was a whole bunch of new stuff that I've been using for the past few weeks, so let's jump right into it. You guys might have seen from my haul video that I did buy the Milk Makeup Hydrating Oil Stick, which I will put a picture of right up here. I did not like it, I returned it almost immediately. I was using it for my keratosis pilaris, which is the little bumps on the back of your arm, and it made them so much worse and it was terrible. A lot of you guys had some really helpful suggestions in the comments for that keratosis pilaris, which I finally know how to say. So I have been like trying a bunch of different stuff and right now it's actually been calmed down, it's been chill, so we'll see how anything goes. I will update you guys if I find the golden product for that, but as of right now, yeah, that stick was no bueno for me. Then I bought a little mini of the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Eye Stick. I have loved this. Now, this is one of those products where you're not gonna see a massive difference. You will just feel good. Like for example, I took this on the plane with me when I went and took my trip to Canada, and just like, yeah, it was a short, short flight, but at the same time, you get dehydrated when you're on a plane. So I just took a little bit of this, ran it under my eyes, and I felt pampered. I felt a little bit more hydrated. I felt a little more awake when I stepped off the plane. It just makes you feel good. It's very cooling, very soothing. I think that when this is through, we'll see how fast I go through it. I might buy the big one, or I might just keep buying these little ones and keep it in my purse because this has been awesome. I mean, it's been awesome. Next was the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatment. Verdict is still out on this one. I know I don't dislike it, but I haven't really seen and or felt any results from it. I've been using it about two, sometimes even three times a week because my skin is not sensitive, so I don't really have to worry about it being too abrasive or anything like that. This is a 10% acid complex, and uh, let's just talk about the scent for a minute. It smells like you're putting straight up white vinegar on your face. 
the smell does go away, but I have been using this, like I said, at night, maybe two to three times a week, and I haven't seen any difference. I haven't felt any difference, really. It does tingle, I do get that, and I guess like right after I'm done using it, a little bit of blood does rush to my face, so it makes it look pink and rosy and things like that, but I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess I was looking for maybe a softer feel to my skin or something like that. I'm gonna keep using it because, again, I haven't seen any negative side effects, and maybe it needs to keep building up to be seen, but I'm hoping I see a little more action from this, but we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep trying. The Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, I still really like this. It really is good for those long days when you know you're gonna need your makeup to last. Like, I don't use this necessarily when I'm putting on makeup for a video and I know I'm gonna be taking it off. I use this on the days when it's hot outside or when I know that like I'm putting on my makeup at 6.30 a.m. and I want it to last until I come home at 6.30 p.m. It really is a gripping primer. You put makeup on and it's pretty much gonna stay there until you take it off. Because I am a light coverage kind of girl, a lot of times my makeup will tend to slip and slide and be gone throughout the day. This really does help it to last. So I don't use this every day, I'll be honest, but when I do use it, I notice a substantial difference in how long my makeup lasts and how it looks at the end of the day. So I would recommend this. A lot of videos I've seen do not recommend it. They say they hate it, they don't like the way it feels. It definitely has like a tackiness to it, but I personally really like it, so maybe get yourself a sample. They do have the smaller ones that are cheaper and see how you like it and judge by that. I don't know, I really like it though. My next to last product was kind of bougie for me. It was the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I got it in number two, which I believe is called Light. No, it's just called number two. It's called shit. No, it's not, it's called two. I'm sorry, Charlotte Tilbury, I'm sorry. I do really like this. So I've tried it in all the different ways that you can. I've tried it under foundation. I've tried it over foundation where I've had it on top. I like it all the ways that you can use it. I usually use it under my foundation because I feel like it does bring kind of a glow from within kind of look. And it also helps my foundation to go on nicely. Do I notice the most dramatic difference ever? No. I have noticed some YouTubers when they use it and I'll watch them like a hawk to be like, what am I doing wrong? They just look stunning and lit from within. And for me, I see it and it's pretty, but do I look like an angel descended from the heavens? Do I look like Sam Ravindall? No, I do not look like Sam Ravindall. My verdict is still like slightly out on this one. Again, I do like it, but I believe this is $44 and that's kind of hefty for a product that I'm like, eh, it's good. And then there was the big end. <laughs> Let's talk about this guy, okay? Yeah, that was totally clickbaity. I fucking love this. I have used my Natasha Denona Sunset Palette so much, you can already see, like, I've kind of made a mess of it because I've been using the hell out of this. And I knew I would. I really did. I knew that it also, if I was gonna spend $129 on one palette that I was going to use this until I was dead in the ground. Pretty much this is going to be buried with me. Look, look, this is me dead. I hope someone at least closes my mouth because that's really not attractive. This is beautiful. Everything that I have used this with, whether it's a really bright look with that bright yellow or just an all over shimmer or things like that, every single shadow performs so lovely in this. I, I just, I really love it. I almost wanted not to like it. But, you know, these two together, really expensive. I wanted to tell you guys that they're not worth the money. You can do better. You can get a dupe from Wet n Wild for two cents. I mean, maybe you can. If you can, comment down below. But they're both pretty awesome. So that's it, you guys. I just wanted to update you on how I was feeling about these products. Let me know if you've tried any of these or hell, you know what? If there's any new products I need to try, comment down below, give me a heads up. I really would love to try some new stuff and I know I'm sort of on a low buy still. I, I say sort of, but you know, let's be honest. I'm gonna buy stuff throughout the year. It's gonna happen. I have a problem. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out and it helps me to know what kind of content you guys wanna see. I do put out new videos on YouTube every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I would love to have you as part of my Rockstar fam. I hope you guys are having a fantastic summer so far and you're getting out there and you're wearing sunblock. Mama says wear sunblock. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.